Hello everyone and welcome to another video and Steel Falls, which Johnny is very obnoxiously Stone. obstructing. Stahl Falls. If you speak Gaelic Stahl, he's not budging on this. The guy on Walk Island says the ring of Stahl, so he's doing that to everybody, even though <laughs> oh, the ring of steel you mean. Obnoxious, obnoxious. Anyway, we are here to take Team March on through their paces a little bit, apply their gym fitness to the outdoor world, use fitness as an opportunity to explore a little bit more, which is our bread and butter as on the performance. So we're here as sort of cross collaborative, business to business side of things, and we're going to take them through Nevis as we have done yesterday. The video is already live from that last week, so do make sure to go and check that out. And then today we are going to do the Ring of Steel. I see how they get on. So a little bit of fatigue in their legs. A little bit of volume down, weather is looking pretty perfect, we had a really good range of it yesterday, mixed visibility, mixed challenge, so a really good introduction to the Highlands for them. He's been standing here like a lemon and you should know who he is already, but Johnny, off you go. Johnny P, part of Omnia Performance. As Fergus has rightly pointed out, we're here with the March On Lads, uh, taking them through the paces up some now. It's not something they've done before, something we think and know from day, uh, day one that they're fit to do. Uh, so here we are, we're going to manage that process and, and manage the nav for them. And, uh, Take away that kind of thinking from them, but uh, really put you through the pieces. So, we're looking forward to it. And as you can probably tell through his tattoos, big demeanour, and general gruff Scottish accent, if you do not subscribe at this point, Johnny will come to your house and do unspeakable things to you. And at this point, you probably people. like the movie as well. It depends on the household. Like the video as well, and make sure that you comment down below with your thoughts and feelings. But we are going to get straight into things today and run you through the ring of steel. We're here, uh, just heading up towards the beginning of the route we've picked for today. We're going to do the Ring of Steel, Ring of Stahl. There's a gnarly old bridge to start the lads off, so we're all looking forward to it. We've got three boys from Marchon, Ollie, Charlie and Jens from the PFCA up here with us. Uh, we did Nevis yesterday, which is a little bit of a taster for them. And today we've got this uh, beautiful scenery for them to uh, really test their legs and get a proper feel for Scotland. So they're very excited. In, in the most kind sense, they're a bit green, so we've got to keep our eyes on them. I'm sure they'd be the same if we were in their environment, but uh, we're all stoked and looking forward to it. It could be fun. We are taking Team March on through their paces a little bit, taking their gym fitness out of the gym environment into an outdoor environment. We're like, lucky enough to live up here and have access to all of this, so it means we can get out into this a little bit more. But I think one of the key things that we want to talk about with Omnia is getting people using their fitness for a bit more of an adventure, a bit more of an explorative sort of application. So one of the ways that you can do this is by taking them outdoors into settings like this one and letting them enjoy the environment, enjoy the experience, feel the fatigue in their legs, feel the downhills, all the sort of stuff that we love and enjoy about the Highlands and apply their fitness to it. And then hopefully some of their community might get involved in the future, they might explore new places, might enjoy their fitness in new and broader ways, as that is how Johnny and I enjoy training, enjoy competing. So why not bring some others along for the ride? Feeling good, feel like a kid, back on the playground, time to have some fun. A bit speechless to be honest. Didn't think it would get much better than yesterday. It's just getting better and better. We talk about those sort of like weekly deposits of fitness compounding over time and to allow you to go and do things in the you know, whatever you do outside of the gym. And for us, I guess, as we as we get a little bit older and we still want to compete in certain things and the athletes inside us, like challenges like this are, um, are kind of what we're looking for. A chance to test our fitness outside the four walls of the gym, get outside into nature. We talk about being ready for anything and I think Climbing these mountains is definitely kind of unfamiliar territory to us, but something that hopefully our training will, uh, will hold us in good account for. Very different than uh, what we usually do, so it's nice to get out in the uh, open air, in the, uh, in the wild, shall we call it. It's going well, a few uh, sore calves. You saw back the no complaints, so I'm delighted. You can hear it's hard, but then that's what you get. Once we get to the top, it'll be worth it. 
give it a decent pace. I think the objective for today is just to get a bit of a feel for working at that slightly higher work rate than yesterday. Tourist path yesterday on the bend, so this is a little bit gnarlier, a little bit harder in terms of uphill gradient scree coming down beneath you, so just good to get a feel for it. Feel a slightly different demand physiologically, move at a decent click, and then take the moments to reflect in the view when we can. I think everyone's smashing it. Definitely a little bit harder than yesterday. This is, um, because of that gradient, it's just a little bit more relentless. There's periods yesterday where there was um, more of like a cutaway track path with, with steps and things, so this just feels like there's more prolonged duration of work rate, but that's what we enjoy. Legs are definitely taking a little bit of a toll, but I don't think either of us are willing to admit it, so we just keep fucking chugging along <laughs> and then uh, we'll get to the top. <laughs> We've got a little bit of a, a cut off between enjoying the sunset and it being a little bit too dark and a bit treacherous. So I've got an eye on the clock and an eye on the sun uh, and an eye on a paint. There's a few folk up on the ridge that we can see from here. It is covered in snow and all the higher points are covered in snow. We haven't really prepared for a real snowy expedition. So if it's limited and we can't see our footing with what's up on the ridge, we might need to make some decisions on where we go and what direction we go from there. is not very kind. The heat's wearing it down quite a lot, so it's really quite loose. So given that we're not even at the top of peak one yet, this could cause a problem. We'll just keep going until we can't, and then we'll turn around if we need to. Listen, it's just now focus. The dog playground stuff, but the stakes are a little bit higher. Gotta make sure the beard is prominent. Go to your right, go to your right, find that little kind of flat point. Scrambling with drops either side of you, wind battering you in the face, completely exposed everywhere you possibly look, is a completely different ball game up here. So I'm glad everybody's gone through that little bit. Everybody's got a real buzz off the back of it, and that is ultimately what this is all about. I think being nervous yesterday was, was a cool challenge, but because it's like the biggest in the UK, you thought, oh, I've been there, done that. What, you know, what was today going to hold? Little did we know, today's been the real challenge, and uh, we're just getting started, but feeling like adult PE, big playground, the stakes are higher, but it's had a lot more fun. Charlie just made the point yesterday, I think when we were coming down Nevis, that it was the first, probably the most uh, time I've been away from my phone. And it is, and it just allows you, and Jens was saying yesterday, it allows you just clarity of thought and a bit of like flow state within your mind. So I think um, naturally as well, there's just more conversations that happen because we're, none of us are distracted. We're kind of concentrating on what's in front of us and concentrating on the people around us getting through what's in front of us as well. When you're not taking in all this other information, you're just trying to take in each other's company and share in the moment. It's almost just flows into a natural conversation just to keep like, like the first bits are all banter and quite surface level and then they, you know things become a lot more real so it's it's epic to have those kind of, kind of conversations and it should be cool it should be like a done thing to actually openly have that that chat with your boys something maybe about the just the fresh air and taking in the views that can give you you know a deeper sense of thought and I guess about voicing those thoughts with a bunch of good good oaks as we were saying yesterday is a, it's a good way to go about things it's all it's all metaphorical being out here like, like when we were trudging through the, foot, the first monorail of this ring, we were like fucking just relentless. And then we were all joking how, you know, this is what life is. Like, you just got to keep trudging through the mundane and eventually you get to what might seemingly be a little bit of a peak. And then you look up, there's a hell of a lot more to go. But that's, that's the journey right there. That's the fun part. Even though we were talking about just how to come down a little bit of a screen, turn your hips around and all the rest of it, and making people feel safe, making people feel part of something. 
exactly the same as you would do with, with your guys in the gym. Really what you're trying to do is you're trying to guide and facilitate somebody through an experience that they come out on the other end a little bit more fulfilled, a little bit more in touch with themselves, whether that's achieving a, a really hard workout, whether it's uh, you know, hitting their performance goal or the fitness goal or a physique thing, whether it's getting up and over a ridge. It's, uh, the parallels are really amazing, which is why it's great to have you guys here with us in our little environment. But, uh, really it's, it's all the same thing, isn't it? You know, it's just sharing a bit of love. That's the power of having guys like you or guys like us in in someone's corner because we will believe in you and you don't, right? So that you can actually you know, push past past your limits, you can, um, you know, you can live a life without limits, you can live a life with purpose, like, you know, that's how. We're coming up for peak four, and this is definitely the hardest gradient of them all. And because of the snows, the way it's been placed, it's actually obscured the path, so we've had to go around the path and climb on some really quite hard scree. Again, everybody's doing really well, but we're all uh, trying to be a little bit careful not to knock stones down and smash the guy below, nor dislodge it enough to smash yourself. So uh, all of it's just paying, paying attention and, and a bit of common sense, but it means everybody's got to be switched on. Yeah, this is pretty gnarly. It's uh, easy to forget how mental the Ring of Steel is, but we're all having a good time. It's really varied terrain, which is always good fun. And given that the weather is the way it is, we can enjoy it as we go. We can look out for each other. But it's funny when you're sort of crawling vertically, scrambling. It does just uh, remind you that not all Monroes are built the same. And this is about as uh, as varied, as challenging and as technical as they come, to be quite honest. Touch and go, but we're here. We all made it to the top. Two more to go. We're still at that kind of point in time where we're, we're kind of running that little gamble of coming down in darkness. And we don't want that really. So, so we're, we're up against the clock to a certain degree. We're about to embark on uh, Devil's Ridge. Johnny's told us many stories last night to try and scare us as much as possible, but nothing's going to stop us now. I haven't come this far, I've come this far. <laughs> <laughs> tough that last bit. I think just a cumulative fatigue over the day caught up. I just didn't want to stop. Quite enjoyed it. What a phenomenal day. Can't believe the views. Uh, massive thanks to Johnny and Fergus for taking us on such an adventure. All summits complete. The only way is down. Downhill for about two, three miles and then one and a half miles on the road. Bit of an anticlimactic finish but nonetheless cracking day. Uh, literally can't wait to just digest everything um, but what an amazing experience for my boys. On to the next one. Secret morale stash. Secret morale stash. Well, I consider my morale all the way down. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're back in the game. We have a bag of morale. <laughs> Look how much this is. Whoa! Oh, oh. Need this. Oh, they're fizzy ones, yeah. I don't need too much. I'll do that. Get Adam going. I'm having a great time. Really enjoying the downhill portion of this last effort. Um, nobody's complaining, everybody's uh, really still enjoying themselves. Hold on, boys! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on, Drew. Hold on, Wills. Hold on. Hold on, bro. We got a team. We are heading home, we've got about a mile on the road left. It's more than a mile and a half, but they don't know that. But everybody's morale and spirits are a bit higher now that we're down. Morale was low, spirits were low, everybody's knees were sore. Labour of the day caught up with people. Long day, whether we were on our feet or not, just um, 
sort of sitting around nine and a half hours of lap time now. Yeah, we've been taking it leisurely, so it was never a big, big, big effort. It was just to experience the whole thing. So I think uh, there's going to be some tired men by the time we get back. Yeah, that was phenomenal. A massive shout out to Mr. Johnny Payne, Fergus Crawley, for uh, inviting us up and treating us to the sights of um, Ben Nevis and the Ring of Star. And also a massive shout out to you, Will and Scott, because honestly, that was incredible. Following, following us around the whole day, running in front of us, getting some awesome pictures. Um, yeah, experience of a lifetime. That was sensational. Echo, thank you, Johnny and Fergus, and you guys, Will and Scott. I think banter was great. Uh, the morale was good even when it got pretty dark near the end on the way down. Literally it was dark, it was very dark. Um, but phenomenal experience, that uh, was one to tell around the fireplace one day for sure. We've talked about it the whole way through really, that the idea of getting this uh, team of guys um, so well versed and, and, and immersed in the world of fitness and, and coaching really. And, and uh, as we said earlier, facilitating people's experiences in life and uh, that's something Fergus and I pride ourselves on being able to do but we do it in, in uh, very similar environments but also at times in very different environments so to bring them here to our environment and, and see them not just uh, survive the experience but thrive uh, during the experience and, and laugh and joke and, and move well throughout it's just been a joy for us hasn't it mate? Has been, an absolute yeah. joy and uh, you know it's an experience for them but in turn that becomes an excellent experience for us we had such a beautiful day up there, uh, and we wouldn't have gotten it had we not uh, had the pleasure of taking these guys out today. So uh, much, much gratitude to the uh, to the March on boys, and, uh, and uh, hopefully we'll do it again soon.